Hey buddy, it's crazy good time for one walk back to some more Super Smash Bros. Brawl. In the last episode, we went through All-Star Mode with Solid Snake and got through pretty fast, even though we did get a continue and Sally didn't get the sufficient amount of points as I would have liked, we still got through <clears throat> in, a, in a pretty good amount of time. Uh, in this episode though, we'll be going through All-Star Mode once more with, of course, a speedy hedgehog himself. Sonic. So, um, let's go ahead and pick my personal favorite one, the red armbands or wristbands. Because those ones, I, I really like these, this one a lot. I've liked this one ever since I was a little kid. And um, it's going to be the one I'm going to go with. So let's get right into it. Before I forget though, uh, this episode is actually coming out, coming out two days before Easter. So if, to anyone who celebrates Easter, Happy Easter! Um, I mean, yeah, there's going to be Mario Party. <laughs> that's, there's an episode of Mario Party that's coming out on Easter. But, uh, you know, when I recorded Mario Party, I kind of didn't consider... Uh, when like each episode will be when each episode will be coming out, bro, I can at least uh, Schedule a little better in my mind uh, So yeah, happy Easter to anyone who celebrates it. If you don't just just happy have a good having just have a good weekend and Just treat yourself have a have a good time. I'm pretty sure at the time of this episode being out I'm gonna be it. I'm gonna be at Brian and Sandra's house. Maybe I think at least not 100% sure on that, but I, I'm pretty sure that's the case. I mean, it depends on if like that's still happening, because like I'm recording this uh, towards the end, uh, the last week of February, so like a month, about a month before you know it comes out. Uh, but uh, I have no clue. I mean, I have a pretty good idea of like what's gonna happen during spring break, because luckily this time I actually have spring break. Since quarantine started last year, um, like, you know, towards the middle of March, we didn't exactly get to have spring break, which really sucked. But yeah, spring break didn't happen, so we sadly did not have a week off of school. I mean, we, I guess we kind of did because of, uh, you know, that one week off, you know, when quarantine did start. Can I get it? Supersonic! Now I'll show you! Why did the camera zoom out so weird? That's okay. I mean, I guess because son the camera kind of zooms out in like a weird oh no zooms in uh in a weird way when sonic activates his final smash so all right let's see what's gonna happen this time okay that's a dead monkey uh dead ape by any chance probably well dude can you just get hit by a fireball there we go didn't have to do anything just stand here and look nice uh good stuff good stuff oh it's not, isn't that from twilight princess or something i think I don't know. Anyways, uh, let's actually go ahead and start reading Sonic's trivia. Uh, it's probably, I should, you know, this first bit actually has like a part to it, like a second part to it. So I think I'm gonna wait until after this match is finished. And that's just a way better idea. There we go. Really quick match. Um, Sonic Dash is so fast that when, wear, that when wearing a bunny hood, he can outrace both the big blue track and the water slope on Distant Planet to the point of self-destruction. Also, if Sonic has a bunny hood, super spicy curry, and two super mushrooms, he can even outrun the iceberg on Summit. Wow, Sonic is fast. He is also the only character that has a faster dash speed than Captain Falcon without any moves. As Wario Man and Gigamac are final smashes, Shulk and Kirby require the speed Monado art, Palatina requires lightweight, and Hero requires uh, accelerate. Accelerattle. I keep thinking that it's accelerate, but it's accelerattle. Doesn't really make much sense. I don't know why they just didn't say, hey, accelerate, but. Can okay, you do? Wasn't there. Oh, yeah, I was thinking about, like, what does accelerate remind me of? But it's like, it's a Ben 10 alien. So, I watched Ben 10, like, mid last year. It was actually really good. I definitely enjoyed it a lot. So I'm trying to, uh, start watching Alien Force, but I gotta find a, a good place to watch it, because, like, the only, you know, places I can watch it is either, you know, on Hulu with the live TV add-on, or on, like, YouTube or Amazon, um, eh, by paying for it. So, yeah, I don't know which one I'm gonna have to go for. I might just pay for it because I don't know how, exactly how live TV works. Because I want to like have it where I can watch it at any point, at any time I want. I don't want to have to like wait for a specific showing or whatever. Because might it not even be the right episodes. So just having it at my disposal at all times might might just be the way better idea. 
Gosh, Sonic does not have that many good kill moves, sadly. I mean, that's pretty good, but like, that's only one that had higher damage. Also, look at how fast this guy is. He just, look, he just dashes. Also, it's a very strange sound when he like, turns around with the bunny hood. I don't, I don't know why, I don't know why it's so weird, but like, it's funny though. I mean, it's one of like the most well-known things about Brawl, how like Sonic's like so stinking fast to the point where he can like outrun most things in the game. Like one of the, if you guys have never tried outrunning the track in Big Blue, I highly suggest you do. It's so stinking fun to do. It really is. Even Ganondorf can actually do it actually. Like not obviously not as fast as Sonic, but even Ganondorf, you know, has uh, has the ability to do so. I'm pretty sure he needs the bunny hood and the super spicy curry. Or maybe he just needs the, the bunny hood, I don't know. Because even Ganondorf can apparently do it. So... I mean, if Ganondorf can do it, anyone can do it. He's like the slowest character in the game. Is he? Actually, I don't know. Bowser might be slower. I, I know Ganondorf is really stinking slow, but like, is he the slowest? That's what I'm trying to figure out. But I genuinely, I genuinely do not know. Anyways, along with Zeus and Samus, Sheik, and Squirtle, Sonic is one of the only characters to not be seen in trophy form during the Subspace Emissary, due to his late appearance. Coincidentally, all four of these characters' names begin with the letter S and they all wear blue by default. Sonic is the only, only one of the four who is not part of a transformation gimmick, which means he is the only one of them who is able to use his default costume in team battles. So look at that. Another interesting little tidbit about Sonic. He's becoming more special by the day. Each day he just becomes more and more special. Spring of Justice! Yes! Oh my gosh, Spring of Justice worked! <laughs> I haven't seen that work since like 2013. The fact that it actually worked in 2021, I'm, I'm happy about that. Gosh. If, if only Jeff was watching this, or like Jeff was here, he knows exactly what I'm talking about. If, if for anyone who doesn't know, the Spring of Justice is kind of like this, you know... Oh, it's playing Call of the Night again. Awesome. The Spring of Justice is kind of like this fun little uh, me, me, and Jeff made back in like 2013. Was it 2013? 2013, 2014, I'd say. Uh, where we were playing on Lilat, and I was Sonic, he was Pit. And he was trying to recover, but I used my up B to, you know, dis disrupt his recovery. And he died because of it. And I called it the Spring of Justice, just because what? why not? And it, it, just, it became a meme after that. It was so funny. I really wish it was recorded, but at the time, you know, obviously, your boy didn't have a channel. It's not yet. Not, not until 2015, at least. With Fire Falcon. I like Fire Falcon a lot, but, like, it really needs a big, like, rebrand. It really, really does. Because, like, I, I like I liked having Fire Falcon, but I want to make it into, like, a full-on second channel. Like, a genuine second channel. Also, I just screwed Lucas over. So, I, it's going to take a big rebranding to do so. I don't know what I'm going to do with it, what name I'm going to give it, what, like, art I'm going to give it. I guess we'll just have to figure that out when the time comes. But for now, we'll just stick with Crazy 24. I don't really have any second channel ideas. Plus, like, is it really a good idea to, like, focus on a second channel as well as the main channel? I probably not. But it's just a thought. I, I, at some point, it will happen. That's for sure. I'm not saying it won't, because at some point, it definitely will. Oh, I thought he was going to bring me down with him. Oh, no, sticker! Oh, it's too late. <laughs> Sadly, too late. Okay. Anyways, uh, in the video game convention E for All, Sonic was the only unlockable character to be playable in the demo. I guess it kind of makes sense for Sonic to be the, you know, character that's playable. Even though Snake was the one that was revealed first, Sonic, I say, is definitely a way more iconic character. So, I mean, why not get the, you know, get a little used to, uh, Brawl. No, 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 no! Oh, this is just fantastic. Oh, thank goodness that didn't last long. Holy crap. Freaking Yoshi. Scared the crap out of me. Yeah, you are too slow, Yoshi. How did he not die from that? What? He will die from that, though. Yeah. Very nice. Cool beans, man. Cool beans. Uh, but as I was saying, what was- Oh, yeah, Fire Falcon. I mean, obviously, if you guys have watched me on Fire Falcon, then you would know that I've already done, like, Brawl on Fire Falcon. I'm doing it again. Really, when I did those- series on Fire Falcon, you know, Brawl, Kirby Return to Dreamland, and Super Smash Flash. You know, those were honestly just there to test the waters of like the whole YouTube gaming scene. I didn't really like mean for them to be 
like full on series um, that like were pretty prominent, you know, on the channel because uh, I was going to do them again anyways on the main channel, this channel. Sadly, uh, my, you know, completionist, I guess my completionism uh, got the best of me and I decided to complete Nightmare and Dream. Oh, sorry, Return to Dreamland and Brawl 100%. Uh, which is a kind of a shame because I want to do them. I, well, I'm already doing Brawl 100% again on this channel, but uh, I got it. Oh, the most thing I'm doing with Return to Dreamland, and it's gonna revolve me <laughs> or involve me asking Jeff to join me for it, which I don't know how much he's gonna, you know, be up for it since hey, uh, he's been kind of against redoing Return to Dreamland since I, I already did it. Um, but I'm gonna force him to, because <laughs> I'm like, Jeff, come on, it's for the channel, do it for me, I'm just trying to do it again for the main channel. What's, what's on Fire Falcon is on Fire Falcon, it's just test stuff that I'm meant to be taken as, like, serious series, I guess. Just kind of getting, you know, used to everything. That's kind of what I did those let's put, those series as, Meta Knight's dead. Very nice. <laughs> did not expect Meta Knight to die so fast. Uh, ah! I actually killed, wow, okay. Sure, why not, right? Kind of expected DD to at least, you know, live a little longer. Now, Sonic's up air is actually really good for killing. Surprisingly enough, it's actually pretty decent. Alright, I mean, I'll take it. Alright, Star Fox bad, let's do it. Hopefully I won't get- Hey, maybe since we're fighting a Lilat, Spring of Justice will come through again. Maybe, just maybe. Although I've only really had it work on Pit. So I don't know how well it's gonna work on the Star Fox guys. Guess we'll find out, huh? I mean, Falco probably could work because he has like a really weak recovery. Um, so maybe I can, you know, screw him over with it. Just, we'll see. Oh, great. Just what I needed. Me to turn small. Well, I almost screwed over Fox. Can I go back to normal? Thank you. Okay, I was about to say. It's taking incredibly long for that to happen. Oh, Fox is dead. There we go. <laughs> that works. Oh come on, Falco, stop juggling me. Oh, if I, if there's anyone who can juggle, it's me. I I I'm the only one who has the right to juggle. You have the right to juggle. Ah, what? Okay, fine. Invincibility frames do your thing, I guess. That kind of stop me from uh from killing these guys. Let me get the other piece before they get it. Even if I don't get the dragoon, and like if or even if I do. I like totally miss with it. As long as they don't have the pieces, that's what that's what matters. I'm honestly a little worried about that. There we go. That's not gonna kill. But this will. Well, if it were to hit, then it would. See, that'd be fantastic if it actually hit. I should take way too much damage on this fight. There we go. Gosh. Okay, I was a little scared that I might, you know, <laughs> be screwed about, be screwed from that. Wario scares the heck out of me. Um, so I'm gonna take a hard container and also I'm gonna read some trivia. Uh, Sonic, what is it? Uh, Sonic is the only unlockable character in Brawl who has four rather than three unlock methods. If you guys remember from Classic, I was actually a little shocked when I saw that Sonic had, um, four unlockable methods rather than the usual three. It was pretty interesting. I don't know why he has so many. One of them I actually didn't even know was a thing. I'm pretty sure there's like the normal ones where it's like, you know, unlock him in subspace, do a certain amount of battles, and do classic with, what is it, 10 characters, I think? Yeah, 10 characters. Um, but then there's the other one where it's like, complete, or not complete, uh, play like a certain amount of brawls, or no, a certain amount of time in brawls. That I never knew about. So when I saw that, I was like, really? That's an actual unlock method for, so for Sonic. I never knew that until, like, you know, I had to read his unlockable unlockability methods uh, for Classic Ode. Which is very interesting. Very, very interesting. I guess Sonic gets kind of special special treatment, doesn't he? I guess he kind of does. I mean, he's like a staple video game character at this point. And, like, him being in Smash is, like, a big deal, especially since he's a second. He's, he's one of the two first third-party characters to ever be in Smash. So it's kind of a big deal. It really is a big deal. It'd be cool if Snake also had four unlockable methods. Sadly, he does not. But... Oh, that was gonna kill Squirrel for a second. Or hit him, at least. That would've been cool. 
Come on, Lucario. There we go. That's Lucario. Now just Ivysaur. Right? Yeah, actually, that's it. Because I already killed Charizard. Okay. Not bad. And back here. And up, up B. There we go. That's not gonna, it's not going to kill, though. Yeah, because the, uh, that happened. Oh, hello! Oh, my good old friend, Mr. Smashball. You want to just give me it for a second? There we go. Nope. Do your neutral B. There we go. And Supersonic comes for the win. Okay, why does it zoom out so weird for Sonic's final smash? It's so strange. Okay, whatever. Whatever you want to do, game. All right. Um, doo -doo 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 -doo. Sonic and Zeus and Samus are the only characters not fought in any form in the Substance Emissary. Sonic is the only non-Pokemon character to have less than six palette swaps. Sonic is the first character to have his victory theme ripped directly from a non-Smash game. He would later be joined by fellow Sega... Sega character Joker and Steve in Ultimate. Pretty sure the uh, his victory theme or Sonic's victory theme is victory theme is from Sonic 06. And finally, this is Sonic's only playable appearance in the series where he does not have Spanish, French, German, or Italian voice acting. So it seems like in the later games he does. Just not in this one. Well, the more you know, I guess. Let me just destroy. I almost. Yeah, I, I was gonna say Jillypuff for whatever reason. But then I'm like, no, it's all in one. Come on, you idiot. There we go. Very nice. A good way to end off All-Star mode. Good, pretty decent. Actually, that was a pretty garbage score. What am I talking about? That was, that was not the, um... That was not the, uh... The kind of score I was expecting. To be fair, though, Sonic, I... I don't know. I wasn't really expecting to do too much with Sonic. Like, he, he's kind of weak in terms of his, you know, damage output. Um, especially, like, with, uh, like, his killing moves, he does not have the best killing moves, sadly. And I guess, what can you do? And Sonic, I mean, he's, he's fast. You know, he, he has speed to help him out, so I guess that's good enough, right? I guess it's good enough. But I also, I just, I'm just kind of surprised I got such a low score. Uh, what can you do? What can you do? Well, that's, that's All-Star Mode. Finally done, the final victory animation. Here we go. I actually like this photo a lot. Sonic just chill up in the air. We see so we see Knuckles in the background and Silver, dope. And Tails. Oh my gosh. Three or I guess four. I guess if you count Sonic in one picture, that's crazy. Four Sonic characters in one picture. Wow. Who would have thought? Who would have thought? But with that we finally get Kyle Hyde for clearing all Surfall characters. And plus a little minimum or minimum uh, for c collecting Final Smash trophies for all characters. Now, of course, this one acts the very same as um, where is it? The Creeping C C Chrysanthemum trophy, where you also have to complete All Star with uh, the other versions of certain characters. So you got to complete with Zelda and Sheik. Also going to complete it with Samus and Zero Suit. Luckily, Pokemon Trainer doesn't apply to that, at least for All Star mode. So yeah, with that, that's that's it. We got these two good old trophies. Clear also of all characters. And there we have it, All-Star Mode is finally done. Took a little bit of time, like recording-wise, actually took quite a bit. They've been working on All-Star Mode for... Gosh, how long now? Two months? Has it been two months? No, there's no way it's been two months. Actually, it might be. <laughs> no, there's no heckin' way it's two months already. Probably like a month, I'd say. Maybe a little longer, I don't know. But yeah, awesome mode's finally done. I'm super happy about that. So let's go ahead and read Sonic's Final Smash Trophy, the final Final Smash Trophy to read, of course, which is really, really sick and nice. Oh, he's gonna be like at the tour at the end. Can I? I can't even do that. Okay, fine. Gotta just spam R as fast as I can. I don't know why he's at the very end, but he is. Super Sonic. Sonic's final smash. The Chaos Emeralds give energy to all living things, and Sonic's gathered all seven of them, then use their power to transform to Super Sonic. His abilities in this form far surpass his normal ones, and he's even able to fly. He uses a lot of energy in his form, so he can only remain in it for a short time. And of course, this time, for once, we have two games 
rather than just the one game Super Smash Bros. Brawl. We have Sonic the Hedgehog 2 for, I guess, Sega Genesis, but they didn't want to put into console, and Super Smash Bros. Brawl. Why couldn't they have done this with other characters? It beats me. But I guess they just really wanted to give Sonic special treatment. Okay, but with that, that's all awesome mode for you. Thank you guys so much for watching today's episode of Super Smash Bros. Brawl. In the next episode, so what are we exactly going to be doing? Well, we're going to be moving on to the next mode. One, my personal favorite mode, actually. Boss battles. Boss battles. And we're going to be going through boss battles with every single character. Obviously, this one's not going to take nearly as long as, long as like, Classic and All-Star. Which is pretty sink and nice. So, boss battles with Mario. And, uh... Yeah, we'll, we'll see a little bit of a, an interesting take on boss battles or what I'm gonna do with boss battles when the next episode comes around. So thank you guys for watching. Subscribe, like, comment, all the good stuff. Social media, including Twitch, of course, down below in the description. And I'll see you guys next time. Pop-Tart, out.